Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And welcome back to our channel Lampway and Sadia Yasin In this episode, we're going to be starting lesson number 16 The last lesson of the Nurani Qaida Today we're going to do, be doing part 1 And inshallah tomorrow, part, next time we're going to do part 2 so previously we completed lesson number 15 and now as we're towards the end of the Holy Quran, uh, towards the end of the Nulani Qaida, we're going to do it in like completely without hija. Like before we did Ja, Za, and this time we won't do like that. We'll do a complete hija, right? Ja, Za, and like this we're going to do without hija. So, what are we waiting for? Let's start. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Rabbi zidni ilma Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri Vahlul uqdatan min lisani Qahu qawli. Ameen. Don't forget to start in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. And don't forget to read the dua of knowledge. And then inshallah, your, your, the Nurani Qaida and the Quran will be easy for you. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Jazaa'am. On. 
And this is a pretty long word. لا يتكلمون But it's not that long as the other words are. قلوب يومئذ قلوب يومئذ واجفة أبصارها سراجا وهاجا Now, don't think that these two words are one because they both are separate, separate words. Yeah, there's a tashdeed over here, but we won't connect this word to over to this word because we, we as we can see over here there is a vowel, so we won't connect it. And that means this is a separate another word. Wa And this is one of those verses. And here we have completed this. And, and I hope you like this video and understood this lesson well. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.